Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a crucial topic for anyone looking to lift their Subaru Crosstrek. Spacer lifts or spring lifts. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what the difference between these two options are and which one might be right for you. So let's get started. First, let's quickly go over what a lift does. Essentially, lifting your cross track increases the distance between the chassis and the ground, giving you better ground clearance for off-roading and a more aggressive look. Now, there are two primary ways to achieve this, spacer lifts and spring lifts. Let's start with spacer lifts. Spacer lifts, as the name suggests, involve adding spacers above your existing suspension components. These spacers, typically made of durable materials like aluminum or high-density plastic, physically raise the vehicle's body away from the suspension. Now, these are the more cost-effective options. They're generally more affordable than spring lifts because they utilize using your existing suspension components. And they're also easier to install and often don't require specialized tools or significant modifications because you're keeping your original spring shocks, the ride quality remains largely the same. Now, some cons of the spacer lifts is it kind of gives you limited performance gains. Spacer lifts don't improve suspension, performance, or handling. They're purely for lift. And the adding spacer lifts can put additional stress on your suspension components, potentially leading to premature wear. Now let's talk about spring lifts. A spring lift involves replacing your stock springs with longer aftermarket springs. Now this not only raises the vehicle, but can also enhance suspension performance. Spring lifts can provide better handling and off-road capabilities because they're designed to work with the vehicle's suspension geometry. Now, they are often more durable and can handle heavier loads, which is great for off-roading. And it does enhance the ride quality. Depending on the springs you choose, you might experience a smoother ride than you would with uh, spacer lifts. But now, some cons of the spring lifts is the spring lifts are generally more expensive than spacer lifts because you're replacing the entire spring. And because of this, installation can be more complicated and might require professional help or specialized tools. Some spring lifts can result in a stiffer ride, which might not be comfortable for everyday driving. All right, let's just do a quick overview of what we went over. So with the spacer lifts, it's way more cost effective. It's a fraction of the price. And it's something that you can pretty much do yourself just by watching YouTube videos. It's pretty simple install. You do got to take some stuff apart but it's something you can do with minimum knowledge and minimum tools now the spring lift though you have to have special tools and it's really something you're gonna have to have a professional do so not only is the springs more expensive you're gonna also have to pay for the labor but with the spacer lifts it doesn't help your ride quality at all it's purely for looks whereas the spring lift it gives you a stronger suspension and it makes it better if you're going into some pretty serious off-roading. Now, you are able to go off-roading with both of them. It's just really dependent on how deep off-roading you want to go and how much pressure you want to put on your car with the spacer lifts versus the spring lifts. So for your typical off-roader, you know, if it's your daily driver and you're just kind of going, like, camping and whatnot, spacer lift is probably the way to go. But if you're really trying to go muddy in like places that Jeeps go, you're going to want the spring lifts. And there's many different brands for each. You know, you got Rally Tech, Iron Man, Anderson Design makes a good one. Um, Rough Country makes a pretty decent one for cheap, a pretty decent space lift. So really just do your research and just decide what you want and what your budget is. You know, if you don't have a high budget, spacer lifts the way to go. If you have a higher budget, then definitely spring for the spring lifts. So which one should you choose? It really depends on your needs and how you plan to use your cross track. If you're looking for a budget-friendly option that's easily to install and primarily want the lifted look, a spacer lift might be the way to go. However, if you're serious about off-roading and want to enhance your vehicle's performance, investing in a spring lift could be worth it. Ultimately, both options have their pros and cons, and it's all about finding what works best for your lifestyle and driving habits. Let us know in the comments which ones you're leaning towards, and don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon for more car tips and tricks. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.